All right, so this is just We the People News. One more time at it, all right? Um, we don't look just straightforward. We always look around just to be able to protect ourselves by any means necessary. All right, so I was doing a couple of videos and a couple more is coming up about uh, being a thorn in the judicial branch, right? How can we uh, break through this thing, right? But this lady right here, Susan Bassey, go check her out. When you speak of journalists, she is what you want to look up. All right, this is what every journalist should look like. She digs in and she puts the claws in there and she's a thorn to their sides. And she keeps going and going and going like she's the Energizer Bunny. All uh, right, uh, I seen her video before Sam Joaquin and I actually was watching Sam Joaquin while he was in a court building and met Susan Bassey and they worked together and Susan Bassey uh, ended up getting some knowledge from Sam Joaquin <laughs> and when she did that she cut loose <laughs> Alrighty. but uh, since it's talking about the same realm and this is California, and the guy spoke of California, even though every state has their particular deals, right? It was in the same category, and this was done yesterday, okay? The other videos I was showing six years ago, but it's still happening to today. Tonight, this is an ends of court event. That's the California Chief Justice talking to the... Court of Appeal Justice Manukian and and what did that guy say? It's all political. Right? Next to her is Mary Greenwood and Lori Peck. This is an ends of court meeting that judges and lawyers are attending. It is an opportunity for them to socialize and talk about various issues. The problem is, is that they don't ever disclose the conflicts of interest that are created with these little clubs. Little clubs where judges and lawyers can talk together, talk about people or cases, or express their views, opinions, and ideas. So what you're watching, I didn't have time to title it, but we're literally at the back door through a little peephole. I'll show you the, here's the door that it looks like to the rest of the world, and I've been out recording all the judges going in there but that's the chief justice she did slip past me but i am talking i did talk to the court of appeal judges there were two of them here judge lori peg a lot of the attorneys that are from the area they were trying to kind of gatekeep me everybody was very concerned about what i was recording and here's the problem they have used public money for this club and Jay Borski, who's a district attorney, a prosecutor, has had his membership dues discounted and paid for by taxpayers. And the problem with judges not disclosing their social, professional, or financial relationships is when they are getting to exercise their discretion, they might lean in a direction of somebody that they feel more comfortable with or that they trust. And that's the Chief Justice, and this is what we call access. These lawyers and judges all have access to the Chief Justice, who is setting administrative policy for the courts, who is ruling on cases. They are ruling on criminal and family and civil cases. And as I explained to the Court of Appeal judge, this has a bad optic to the public. So these are your judges in Silicon Valley after hours. They've been running this club since 1985. It's run at Santa Clara University, which is a private university here, where several judges are professors. They invite students, but they never seem to get around to disclosing the conflicts of interest. I did see BJ Fadham here. He's a divorce attorney, a highly controversial divorce attorney and minors counsel. I took pictures of the guest list and the table seatings, and that is the California Chief Justice. So if you ever think that you are getting a bad rap in court, something doesn't feel right, 
part of it might be that the judge is concealing conflicts of interest that they have with lawyers and other judges. I, I'm not sure who that is that she's shaking the hand of right now. She's still talking to the uh, Court of Appeal judge. That's Justice Mary Greenwood, who's also on the Court of Appeal. She used to be in the trial court. And really, we only know these kind of things are a conflict or a problem when we have people, journalists, on the ground covering these cases and covering what's going on and looking at patterns about whether or not there are disclosures being made and whether or not everything's above board. And especially since they're using public money, that was Mary Greenwood hugging the Chief Justice of California. So if you're ever going to appeal any of her rulings, that doesn't instill a lot of public confidence. And right behind her is Justice Manukian. And this is what it looks like. And you might say this is the good old girls club. Well, just because they're women taking these positions doesn't mean that they don't have to disclose their conflicts of interest or their bias or recuse from cases when they shouldn't be hearing or deciding cases because they are prone to making decisions based on their relationships. Okay, I'm going to try to read your... Uh Let me see, accidentally mute. This is what's going on behind closed doors and where tyranny begins. I forgot how long this lasts, but I'm keeping it on mainly because so you guys can see what's going on. This was filmed yesterday. And the videos I was talking about of what he was talking about is this right here, people. And some of you guys don't think there is no conflict of interest. There is. Okay. Or you wouldn't have to sign a piece of paper waving okay, your sorry, rights. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, I was narrating in my off button. So this is, we were just filming the Chief Justice. I'm out at a judge night event. This is the ends of court out at Santa Clara University. And this is the back door. These are judges and lawyers. The California Chief Justice was just in the feed. I just filmed her. And that's Mary Greenwood going into the building right now. <laughs> Uh, she's acting like she's Tim Z, right? <laughs> Hiding behind the bushes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, getting uh, photographs of rich and famous people and all that. <laughs> but they have nothing on her. She is a true journalist. And there are a bunch of lawyers going into the building. Mary Greenwood, Justice Manukian is here, and the California Chief Justice is here. And all of these lawyers have access to these judges who never seem to be able to disclose their conflicts of interest. So let's talk about why that's important. That's important because if you have a case in front of a judge and say you're represented by a lawyer from out of the area and the person that is opposing you, even if it's the district attorney, has been to these kinds of clubs and meetings and been sucking up to the judges or having a social or professional relationship with the judge, and that judge is going to use their discretion to make a decision, and it can go either way, it's always going to go in the way of somebody that they know, favor, and trust. And this is the kind of thing where they build trust and relationships that are secreted from the public. So, as George Carlin always says, it's one big club and we ain't in it. And this is videotaping the big club. Judges after hours in Santa Clara County, we've had the California Chief Justice. The gaining public power. All right, political, excuse me, on the words. Words matter. Right? They're gaining uh, political power to climb the steps, right? We all know the judge leans towards, uh, especially the lower courts, for the officer's side, right? Because they're basically in the same group. The officers are their security guards. Now, the sheriff is supposed to be your security guard, 
which by the way, he's not doing a very good job of. <laughs> here we've had judges two judges from the court of appeal and we've had minors counsel bj fadham was spotted here and then a number of other lawyers some i recognize some i got into it out in front they were a little nasty and we're gonna give them a little love on youtube but i wanted you guys to see the club because george carlin always talked about the club but we are actually recording the big club this is the big club and we ain't in it but it is trying to remember that our club is bigger than this club. And the public has paid for this dinner. And I know that because of the public records requests that we've gotten. And the public records show that the district attorney, Jeff Rosen, approved the taxpayers paying the membership for some of his prosecutors to attend this club. And then the club collects all the money. Hey, thanks to uh, Spruce Bingstein for that 10 bucks. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. I really, really appreciate it. So again, I asked for public records from the County of Santa Clara and determined that Jay Borski, who is running for judge and is a prosecutor, chief of staff for the district attorney's office, was getting his membership in this club approved. And when it was approved, the taxpayers paid for it. It all went into a big pot for the ends of court. And that is what is funding this dinner tonight. And the lawyer that you see right there, he's the one that was out gatekeeping the front, asking me a bunch of questions, telling me I couldn't record him. And here he is on the back patio after his bouncing activity. He closed the front doors. I'm going to show you that in a video later on. And now he is going into the big club, very proud of his bouncing activities. So that's it. This was the end of the happy hour for the big club. Now they're all going to go inside and the chief justice is going to make a presentation. And that's it. That's recording the big club. I didn't have time to put that in the title, but I will. And yes, BJ Fathom was in there. There were a number of other lawyers. <laughs> so this came across my mind, right? How many of them are drinking alcoholic beverages and they're going to go in their car and drive home? It's just a question because I do not have first-hand knowledge if they're drinking alcohol. But if they are, in fact, are, how many of them are going to drive on their way back home? <laughs> I saw Damon Silver. He's the nasty little public defender that I recorded, that I did a video on the other day in my shorts. And some of the other lawyers that have been in my videos, it was interesting because they were asking where are you a journalist? And I don't think that's a credible source. You know how they always say that, gaslight you and that kind of thing. So I just want to appreciate all of you. We had 95 people here watching the big club today. And so that makes our club bigger than theirs. And I'm going to post this and then I'll do another video later just explaining this a little bit more. But that is folks. All right. So, uh, Leave a comment if you want me to kind of mirror the uh, Susan Bassey's uh, when she does an other one with the conflict <laughs> with these some of these attorneys when she was uh, over there, right? But I thought this was interesting and timing. Thank you, God, <laughs> uh, that this all happened to be in the same time frame. And it's like, holy mackerel, hey, I can use this. <laughs> because I'm I'm doing videos on the subject matter. <laughs> All right, these will be the people. Bye.